Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where things are getting really close to finally being finalized over here. We're actually starting to work on our hyper relays as well, which is a very big deal of course. And we are over our naval cap right now. It's a bit of a problem, but we do need to work on our worlds a little bit here. So first things first, let's go ahead and put in an industrial district here. This is a tech world. We really should put in a research institute. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. We're doing okay on exotic gases, so that's fine. This tech world here, I would also love to do a research institute. I don't think we can get away with that yet. No, we need the planetary capital for it. So we'll have to just do a research lab and call that good for now. Otherwise, this industrial world here, we can definitely put in a planetary capital. And that looks good. Okay. So let's see if we've got anything going on with our civilian ships for now. The answer is no. And that's fine. Okay. We'll tick up to... I'm, I'm kind of feeling like at this point we can get away with going at fastest speed. Oh yeah, this is absolutely fine. Fastest speed is not a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to clear up this area over here for a bit. Now, we're going to have to clear out these prisms eventually. And we do potentially have a fleet coming after us from some direction. We'll see what that ends up looking like. I don't know where that might be. It's around somewhere, I can tell you that. So we're at 86 influence right now. That's good. We definitely need to have some influence here. Because we're going to be finishing up some of this stuff very, very soon. We're not there yet, but we're definitely getting close. We're at 1.5k alloys. That does, of course, mean that we should upgrade this star fortress. There we go. Okay. So I think, oh, this industrial world does need Technology a job. Discovered. A research, or rather a ministry of production would be amazing. But we are negative on our amenities for right now. I'm just looking at our housing situation. I'm actually going to put in a city district here to deal with those amenities. And we actually can clear out this tile blocker as well. There we go. Cool. So there's our code breaking finishing up. Now that was really just a re-roll for our technologies. I guess we could grab advanced research complexes at this point. That's fine. No problem whatsoever there. So we'll proceed with that. Not that we're planning on getting that anytime soon, but we could definitely get ourselves a mining district and clear out our tile blockers on this mining world. There we go. We'll get that done. And this forge world could use a planetary administration. Cool. So these things are finishing up reasonably swiftly. This industrial world could certainly use a city district for amenities, housing, and a job. That'll solve all of those problems for us. Fantastic. And civilian ships. Not done yet. We're traveling over here, and we're traveling over here as well. This will finish up pretty soon, though. Or rather, get started with its construction pretty soon. Okay. More bastions. Beautiful. So this is just kind of the shape of how this game is going to go for the next little while here. Pretty soon after we finish our expansion Technology out over here discovered. and we get our hyper relays done, complete. then we're going to start looking at making sure that everyone is fulfilling their requirement of voting. There's currently a lot of people that's not doing that, but we don't really have complete. the resources to enforce that particular law at this moment. So... Leader level cap and leader upkeep reduction isn't bad. We'll go ahead and grab that, and then we will, of course, build the starbase down over here first. And the reason why we're doing that is because I want to get this Gaia world settled. Fantastic. So there's a tradition available. We can grab our city districts, providing an additional clerk job. That would be pretty good for getting us more amenities, which a lot of our locations are in need of amenities, so we'll go ahead and do that. Cool. Looking through here, we do have a lot of worlds that uh, are in need of additional development eventually, but they're not going to be there just yet. So that's fine. The starbase will be done shortly. 
and that's wonderful. But we definitely need to continue working on our missile battery hangar bay and Construction we're doing target complete. uplink computers for these, right? Yeah, it's not the best of things, but we'll do a target uplink computer for them. Cool. And that's mostly just because we have limited options. Okay. Cool. They can use the subjugation CB against us. That's reasonably fine. I guess from here we will grab ion disruptors. I'm not sure if we're really going to use disruptors very much. They're very good against shields. Or actually, no, they, they penetrate. That's right. They're good against hull. We may or may not. We'll see. Complete. Their range is pretty low. So if we were to use them, we would probably end up using them on, like, our corvettes. So that we would have the guardian point defense to intercept missiles or, or fighters, right? And then we'd use, like, disruptors because they're going to be in super close anyway. Would we do the same thing hypothetically with our destroyers? These are at picket range. So that might not be a bad idea. And then for these further standoffs back here, we could definitely run something else entirely. Like what we have here, railguns and lasers. We still haven't gotten level four railguns, which makes me a bit sad to be sure. But that hasn't happened. Hopefully it will soon. We have enough alloys to get another station upgrading, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we've only got three more to upgrade here. Of course, eventually we're going to need to get these upgraded to Citadel. And we will have that technology in eight months, but 3,500 alloys is a lot of alloys. We'll see on that front. We will see. Nothing to do on our planets for the moment. Cool. However, these construction ships aren't doing anything. So we definitely need mining stations out here, and then we'll go build the starbase over here eventually. The Orinoco is also not doing anything. We'll build our mining station here, and we definitely need to colonize this Gaia world. And we're actually going to have humans be the ones to colonize that. We haven't been colonizing with humans mostly, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do that now. We can activate this relic. There's no point. Cool. So we'll get that underway. It'll take a very long time to get there. And we've only got the one shipyard for the moment. We probably want to consider getting another one down this way. We're for sure going to need to defend this gateway here. Or this L gate, rather. So we'll get that starbase upgrading. If somebody goes through that and wakes up the nanites, we're going to have a problem right now. So we'll definitely need to handle that. And in the next two months, we're going to be able to get another Bastion going here. So that's all good. We're now good on our naval cap again. So let's go into the fourth fleet here. We can get another 20 in our naval cap. So bringing this up to like 70. Well, yeah, 70 would be fine. That would be slightly over our naval cap, but that's okay. So 13 destroyers. And 32 Corvettes, but we're going to take this up to 70. There we go. And that's going to cost us 3,600 alloys to get that done. We are interested in getting the influence, though. Technology so, discovered. there's our ion disruptors. We can go for phase disruptors next and get those Corvettes complete. and possibly destroyers upgraded. We're going to head up over towards Lisak and get our construction going there. Beautiful. And the question is, is upgrading these stations more valuable than maxing out this fleet right now? They're both very valuable. I think we go ahead and do that. The UES Drake finds a disturbing tangle of technology hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid's surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole, and science officer Ban Baron quickly asserts that the asteroid is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, some light years away from a black hole, and small quantities of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned, through the wormhole. Whoever set this up seems to have abandoned the operation. Well, we found a dark matter deposit, and that was up over here. Yeah, this science ship isn't doing anything now, I think. 
Correct. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think we have to go back to Trappist. Nope, we're good here. Okay. Uh, actually, we can come over here and research this anomaly. We haven't done this one yet. Are there any others that we haven't done? We skipped this. So we can come up there next. That's a long ways away, but that's fine. The Merrimack is not doing anything, and we can definitely head over to Cordip and build our Hyper Relay. Cool. Okay. So we can now see that we're starting to get a Hyper Relay network showing. Discovered. That's beautiful. The Citadel research has finished. Cruiser hull points? Sure. We're kind of avoiding robots for the moment. We're not really going down the synthetic tree there, so that's fine. We could grab synthetic crystal plants. Or just fusion missiles as a reroll. I kind of want to keep rerolling engineering here until we get level 4 railguns. Because our railguns being stuck on level 3 is obnoxious. We attack. should definitely work on that eventually. Mining station lost. Oh, did these guys actually show up? They did. They're in the Lando system. They ended up coming through the Iru archivists. Okay. And we don't have a planetary tile blocker on Elf here yet. Okay. Or rather, a planetary FTL inhibitor. Uh, apparently, we just generally don't have planetary FTL inhibitors. Sure. I'm going to send the first fleet out this way, but it's going to take a very long time to get there. We didn't know what direction they were going to end up coming in from. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be lengthy. For sure. We'll start heading out there, but... They're going to do some damage down this way. Luckily, they're not going to destroy our starbase. So that's okay. Are they going to bombard our planet here? I don't know what they'll end up doing there. We'll see. Let's see. We can uplift or get more edicts fund. I think edicts fund is the way to go there. Cool. Construction complete. Okay, so the Orinoco has finished up down over this way. We definitely want to get our mining stations and then make our way down over here. We don't have the influence right now to build in Rotnev, but we will get there eventually. We finished up our fusion missiles research, and from here we could definitely take, like, standardized cruiser patterns. That'll be convenient to have. And our construction ships will finish up eventually. I'm still keeping this fleet down in this area for the time being. I wouldn't mind building a shipyard out over here somewhere and stationing a fleet up here, a fleet over here, and a fleet down here. So in with that in mind, we already know that we are upgrading this station, but that should not be a that should not be a shipyard. If we're gonna put in a shipyard, I'd like for it to be like here or so in Q. So we'll go ahead and get that upgrading, and we're going to be maxing our starbase cap soon, but we'll head on over there. Cool. But we should definitely get some additional shipyards going and try to link them together as best we can. People are finishing up gateways. We haven't had that research, so we're, we're just going to continue building our hyper relays. This bastion, of course, needs a missile battery and a hangar bay, as well as a target uplink computer, so we'll get that underway. What are they doing here? They are bombarding Elthir Prime. Well, that's rude. That's very rude. Construction complete. Well, the first fleet will arrive here eventually. 700 days. So that'll take a while, for sure. No doubt about that one. Slavers have arrived on Elthir Prime. Are they going to kill that colony entirely? They probably are. Our current population there is what? Construction complete. Three. Okay. Well, we'll see how long it takes us to get there. 
Oh. They're done? They're done. Cool. Well, I still want the first fleet to make its way out to, like, Saipan. And we'll also start working on upgrading a starport out over here to work as a shipyard. Now, an, a fourth fleet up over this way with a fourth shipyard would be nice, but it's not, strictly speaking, necessary. Complete. The Zulbox Moss Starbase is finished up. We're going to bring that up to a Starhold. What can you offer us? 15 Dark Matter for 150 Exotic Gases. Sure? I think that's overall worthwhile for us. Especially considering we have a lot of unclaimed dark matter on the map that we can get if we need it. So that should be fine, in theory. The Ganges isn't doing anything, and we do need influence, but we can definitely get that going. The Orinoco is going to arrive out over here. It's still lacking Station in influence, attack. but that's okay. Yeah, this is definitely unfortunate here, but uh, the Fallen Empire allowed them through their system, which makes me sad. I want to take a look at these guys here. Equivalent, superior, equivalent. Okay. Sounds good. We can definitely upgrade this Starhold. And we got ourselves our Edicts Fund upgrade. Let's grab some additional Naval Cap at this time. Beautiful. This Bastion here, I would also love to get upgrading, but for the moment, we can't do that. Let's check in on our worlds here. Zarkon Prime could use a Planetary Capital. Complete. Trappist Prime. Let's see, we have Hollow Theaters here. I think we mostly just need an Industrial District, and we can also clear out these Tile Blockers. Cool. So that all looks good. The Orinoco is, of course, just chilling down here. And the Merrimack is going to need to head over here and build a Hyper Relay. So that will hurt our influence further. We're getting very close to everything we want over here, complete. though. So that's fine. The Ganges finishes up in Yatla. We're going to build our mining stations here. Cool. So we're just waiting on influence for the Orinoco down here. Seems reasonably fine. Construction complete. Okay, this bastion up here finishes up. This bastion is intended to defend out over this way. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to put in our missile battery and our hangar bay, as well as our target uplink computer. I was thinking about Technology maybe shifting discovered. this bastion over to Jundius, but then I was like, if we do that... Construction A, we're going to lose out on a lot of alloys. And B, they have a good station here in a good choke point that we can't really counteract. I think Ophiel is fine. Discovered. It's just a little bit non-optimal. I'm not going to work too hard on that for the moment. Okay, we'll grab our Elgate Insight here. And as far as this goes, we can grab Plasma Accelerator. That'll be fine. Cool. So we finish up in Q, and we're going to put in our shipyards here. We're also going to put in our fleet academy, and then we'll upgrade that as well. Wonderful. So that fleet is now repaired. And we'll get additional shipyards going here. The Zulbox Ma Station will, of course, eventually want to have gun battery, missile battery, and disruption field generator. And then after the Starhold finishes up, we can queue up the rest and then queue up the next upgrade there. The Illix station, we definitely want to get this upgraded. We'll have enough in two months. The Vor insulted us. Very rude. Very, very rude. This Forge World needs a planetary administration. Complete. Done. And the rest of that all looks good. Fantastic. I'd love to get the Orinoco going here, and actually, we almost can. We just need a little bit more influence on this month's day. Construction tick. complete. So consider that done as soon as this month ticks over. We also can get the uh, Illix station upgrading, and we should do that too. We have enough for both. So we'll get that Starbase building. Beautiful. 
And the Saiban station over here, this is of course intended to be a shipyard. So we'll get that going. A pair of shipyards and a fleet academy. And then once we have the alloys on the next month tick, we'll queue up the Starhold upgrade as well. These guys will make their way over here eventually. 14 alloys is what we need here. Okay, that's exciting. There we go. So we're maxed out on our starbase cap for right now. We will get additional starbases and we'll we'll get a starbase in like Landis might be a good location for a shipyard. Complete. We'll think about that. We also need to head down to Raskamir down here. We're of course having space amoebas in this system. Uh, we're passing through here. Discovered. We don't care about that. That's fine. There's our plasma accelerators done. I guess we can grab self-aware colony mm -hmm. ships. It's not going to be hugely helpful for us, but we'll just get that out of the way. Cool. There's a new council. We're not on it. Okay. We knew that we probably wouldn't be. Not on, not on this first council. We don't have to be. The Orinoco is going to grab its mining and research stations in Rodenev. Investigation of the caverns below the surface of Urum 3A reveal them to be filled with a silvery liquid metal that flows from cavern to cavern in gleaming rivers pooling into underground lakes. More surprising still is the discovery that this metal substance shares many key properties with organic life forms, including responding to, responding to environmental stimulus and exhibiting self-sustaining processes. It remains to be seen whether this exceptional metal should be classified as truly alive, but it may have several practical applications for engineering technology. Okay, so living metal has been discovered up over here. That's cool. And we're going to be linked up over here very soon. So we need to think, do we want to have a different path than like continuing down this way? And I think the answer is yes. We probably want to bring it up complete. over this direction. And then down. We have no orders here, of course, and we need to build our Hyper Relay in Ebonar. Which we will definitely do. The Ganges is just chilling in Raskamir. We're short on influence, as we expect. That will pretty much always be our problem for the moment. But once we're done in Rodenev, we can move over to Chatib. There we go. And we can also upgrade this fleet if we wanted complete. to, but that's pretty expensive and, well, do we have a reason not to, currently? I would definitely like to get our missile battery hangar bay going here, as well as our target uplink computer. Same thing here. Missile battery hangar bay target uplink computer. And then I think we want to bring our power projection up. So let's work on reinforcing this fleet. There we go. The Saiban station isn't... Discovered. Oh, it is doing things. Okay, I was for, for a second there, I was like, it's not building anything. And then I was like, wait a second. It is building things. Cool. Planetary shield generators. Sure. That's actually the cheapest thing available. We'll take it. I'm not going to build them, but it'll be fine. Cool. Any other bastions needing work? Not for the moment. That's fine. The fourth fleet will continue to reinforce. How much will that end up costing us? Another 2,000? Okay. They no longer want to share research, huh? Not with us. But that's fine. In Saiban, we have finished up our shipyards. That's excellent. Initiate the Fleet Academy will finish up soon. A migration treaty proposal with the Bilnock? We agree. We are completely okay with allowing Bilnock in. Or anyone else, for that matter. Hey, we actually got another Nema. Cool. We'll try another one. And then we've got the Zolbox Maw Station here, which is lacking in... Ah, we need to get a hangar bay here and then a gun battery and then we need to get a communications jammer here so that'll take a while obviously and we're going to be lacking that hmm the slurpenor have embraced cybernetics construction complete good for them i suppose 
We're not too concerned about that, of course. The Ganges is just chilling out here and should definitely build a star base. And the Orinoco is still heading into Shatib. These guys have cleared out the prisms here. That's the bill knock. Okay. We haven't surveyed this. It looks like this has been cleared out too, though. I'm going to grab one of our science ships from up here to come survey. It'll take them a while to get there. And we're going to move these guys out to Shatib as well. Fantastic. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode... We're going to continue to be limited by our influence, but we're getting very, very close here to wanting to actually attack people and enforce the law that everyone votes. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken Twin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Elichi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambron, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.